What's up everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Today we are doing Victory Road, and that's going to be taking on, that's it. It's kind of like a short little introduction, and yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, we're actually going to be trying to take on, give me a second to lower the volume a little bit, because it's too loud. Alright, but yeah, we're going to be going on taking on the Victory Road, and I'm actually going to try and battle all the trainers that are here, and try to get as much experience. And let's see, you, I keep battling so I can soar to higher skies. Are you a uh, flying type then? Yep. Um, can I switch or I guess I can just stay in flamethrower you. Alright, Zen headbutt, are you kidding me? Uh, Alright, flamethrower again. GG Hata, alright, Togetic. Let's just switch out to Whip. And yeah, I, I don't really know how tough road is i'm hearing that i what i heard was that it was actually uh, i know the victory is kind of fun in general i like the victory road but i think that it's actually what i heard is that it's uh easier than past victory roads that were there and oh, oh we got rock climb but we have this guy to guide us down because this guy can learn every freaking like gem that there is um like, yeah, okay, we got Torment, yeah, that's nice, but anyway, Dick, this guy can pretty much learn uh, every freaking TM in the world, I mean, if, even if it doesn't exist, you could probably still learn it, it's, uh, it's just awesome like that. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, basically, this guy, this guy can learn a bunch of different TMs, and yeah, um, so it can learn like, I don't know, it can learn like rock climb, it can learn strength, I mean, so many things, but anyway. Uh, let's actually proceed onwards this way. I'm not sure. Okay, we're supposed to climb up here. Pretty sure. But yeah, um, I don't know the exact difficulty of this place, but I'm hoping it's not too hard uh, because I don't want... My Pokemon are kind of a little bit underleveled compared to the... I mean, some people have actually pointed out that I might struggle against the Elite Four because uh, they're pretty high leveled and whatnot, but I actually don't mind because I want to have that little challenge and we just ran out of Repel, so I guess we're going to have to spray that up. Alright, so yeah, um, I want to let myself have that struggle, like, just have the little challenge of having to be a little bit under leveled and try to beat this, uh, try to beat the game. So, uh, let's actually go into Rock Climb down here. I'm not actually sure which way to go. That's definitely not the way. Oh, it's this way. Oh yeah, I was going the right way before. So, I guess we're gonna go over here and take on this next trainer. Um, I'm not sure exactly what items and TMs are here. I'll have to look up like what's all is here. And I should have probably healed up uh, Uji, but let's go to, all right, let's just switch out our light screen. All right, you are, wow, that did absolutely nothing. We're gonna get Sung, Sing. Alright, you probably have to switch out to something physical. Alright, uh, let's go for the Night Slash and... Alright, there we go. Alright, nice. Uh, oh, Magnazone. Magnazone was actually uh, one of the... Oh gosh, why did I, why, why did I just use Rock Slide? Alright, uh, let's go for a... Oh wow, that didn't even... Kill you? Oh wow, that does half damage. Alright, anyway. Uh, Glalie, let's go for Fuji TV. Why is it Fuji TV? Actually, I totally forgot. Um, I think that's maybe the logo of their thing. Uh, I actually don't want to go up here just yet because I think there might be a item here. Yep, there is. Uh, let's actually go ahead and heal up because it actually takes some damage. So, uh, hyper potion up. All right, wow, this is taking too long. All right, let's uh, move this actually up here because we're gonna probably be using a lot of these. Uh, all right, let's give one to Quaker as well. All right, there we go. So now we can proceed onwards to this next floor. And, oh no, I don't have Rock Smash. It practically used to be breakable, but hey, we have this guy. Again, you can learn like pretty much every HM in the world. <laughs> So yeah, he's like one of the most useful like HM slaves like ever. I think I think there's like even a freaking song dedicated to freaking Bidoof and Bibarel and how do I do this thing? Ah, okay, here we go. Um Okay, looks like we have an item over here, so let's actually break this and try and uh 
get over this ledge to get that item. I think we have to put on the lower gear. Yep, there we go. Um, Alright, there we go. Max Elixir, nice. Alright, they're giving some good items here. Uh, I guess we have to go back this way. Are you kidding me? How much do I need to charge up? Alright, looks like my repel actually ran out, so let's actually spray another one of them. Alright, so you got a rock smashable rock rock thing here. Um, I actually like this victory road in Platinum because it's actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Alright, you got a strength little puzzle here. Alright, yeah, I actually like this victory road because it's like, it's kind of unique. I think it's pretty challenging as well. Like it's not that bad. So anyway, uh, looks like we got... Alright, um... Alright, flamethrower this thing. A Rampardo, so I think Quaker can handle this. So let's go to Quaker. Unfortunately, Pacific's asleep right now, so I can't really use that. As long as this... Alright, this doesn't do that much. Whoa! Did we flinch or something? What the hell, bro? Alright, a Mothim. Alright. Looks like we can switch out to Vanilla and see you later, Mothim. I have noticed that Pacific is actually starting to get under-leveled compared to the rest of my team. Uh... Oh, God, why did I jump over? Uh, Alright, how do we do this right here? Um, okay, I'm, I don't want to risk anything, so I'm going to push this one. Then go around, smash it, and there we go. So, there we go. Alright. I didn't want to, like, risk being wrong, but... Um, there we go. I think we got the puzzle. How am I struggling in Pokemon puzzles? It's just puzzling. It looks like we got this chick to battle. So let's go ahead and see why I have the Elite Four. All right, you're definitely not ready for the Elite Four if you lose to me, which is probably guaranteed. Lose to me, guaranteed. I am rhyming unintentionally. But anyway, we got Clefable and Torterra. Ooh, that's a starter Pokemon. I didn't know you had that, but get wiped out in level 47. All right, yeah, as I was thinking about the Elite Four, I think I think uh, Cynthia is actually... We are probably going to be like 10, 15 to 20 levels below uh, her... Uh, like highest level. I know our guard Tom's like in the level 60, so it's definitely going to be a little hard. So I'm hoping that we are able to beat it. And if not, then some people are actually suggesting to train up to level 50, which we're actually kind of getting close to there. So oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, you better die. All right, there we go. All right, licky licky. Uh, I'm actually going to try out Pacific because it's like we're asleep, which sucks. I'm going to try out Brian. Can we just come on, Brian? Wow, wow, Brian sucks. Alright, um, who do I, uh, okay, let's go for Quaker, kill us, oh gosh, Power Whip, okay, that doesn't do that much, alright, there we go, uh, Earthquake, and next Earthquake should kill it, yeah, there we go, oh my gosh, no, alright, Sandstorm will get you down, alright, there we go, you miss, nice, alright, so, I actually screwed up the puzzle over here, so we're gonna have to, uh, go all the way back, because I suck, I probably could have figured a way out to not have that problem, but I guess we have to. Uh, I actually noticed that my Pokemon are kind of hurt, so I'm going to have to like do something about that right now. So, uh, I guess we can go for like a Hyper Potion on Uji. Let's actually heal up everybody. Uh, I think Quaker has good health, so we don't need to really heal him up. Uh, I can go for actually I don't need to heal up Pacific right now. Alright, sorry about that little interruption, but anyway, uh looks like we have to do this puzzle like this. Alright, there we go. I think I almost screwed that up basically trying to um I've actually never even seen a Licky Lickies by the way. Uh that trainer had the Licky Licky I know and um I've like never seen anyone use it. It's it's not even I don't know if it sucks or like why no one uses it, like I have no idea. But if, I've never seen anyone use a Licky Licky, at least in a playthrough. I mean, my team is kind of like, I don't know what Pokemon I'm using, I have to check, but uh, uh, I think it's, I try to use Pokemon that were different from what most people use. And I've never really seen anyone use a Licky Licky before. So, if, I mean, if you guys have seen it, then definitely let me know, because I want to see people giving them those unknown Pokemon some love. But I noticed a lot of people also wanted me to use Staraptor, which I, I don't know, is Staraptor really that popular of a Pokemon that, I mean, that's why I didn't use it, because everyone uses it on their Let's Plays, so I decided against it. So, I mean, as I said, I'm trying to use Pokemon that are not, like, as used in Pokemon games, but why am I even talking about this? I've already mentioned this. Uh, 
I don't really care about it anymore. But, uh, does Silver and Hulk three of you guys? No, it doesn't, of course. I'm dumb. Shockwave? Are you kidding me? Cross Combat. What, what did I just say? Cross Combat? That makes absolutely zero sense. Wow, okay. Um, I hope. Okay, Lava Plume hits all of you. Fan attack. Alright, Silverwind should kill this thing. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, whoa! Tone it down there, fella. Alright. But it looks like our team is now half dead just from that one battle again, so we're gonna have to use another Hyper Potion. So let me take a minute to find it. Um. Alright, yeah, what was I doing? I was healing up Fuji. Let's do that quickly. But, and I think there's also an item over here. Uh, Alright, here we go. Alright, yeah, there we go. We got it. It's TM71's for Stone Edge. Alright, I don't know who can actually... I don't know if Stone Edge is actually better than Rock Climb. I'll have to check. But if it is, then I might actually teach it to someone. But I have to see first. So let's actually head out of here. Alright, looks like, yeah, we can make it out. Alright. Uh, what was I talking about? Also, I have no idea, like, whether this is, like, how long this victory road is going to be. So, it might actually take two episodes. I'm not sure. Probably two. Because I can only make this video so long, so. Uh, let's go ahead and... Alright, sorry about that. A little interruption, but, uh, looks like we got a trainer over here to battle. So, let's actually go ahead and take this guy on. Because... He might have some, yeah, he has some heavy duty Pokemon right here, so let's actually try Lava Plume. Alright, it's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm actually gonna switch because I want Pacific to get some experience quickly, so there you go, surf it up. Alright, goodbye. I've actually never even tried out Brian, I should try it out sometime, but uh, I have to throw up another repel because it really ran out, so let's go ahead and do that and proceed onwards to this area and. Uh, I think the Elite Four actually probably shouldn't be that hard because, I mean, it's like a monotype. I'm more worried about the champion, but I'll get back to that in a little bit after we fight this trainer, who is a psychic. So good thing we have, uh, wait, now we have Fuji up who has a dark type move called Faint Attack, which is a beast. All right, uh, one more Faint Attack should kill you. And boom, level 48, uh, Absol. Let's try Quaker on this guy. I don't know why I went for Quaker. Oh yeah, I forgot that I put Wuju actually in the PC, so. That's actually why, um, I probably, he's like, he's like probably strong enough to be able to take care of this, take care of the, like, that if he gets under leveled, uh, I could probably just use rare candies on him at the end of the thing and make sure that he doesn't, like, get killed or whatever. Or, like, get, uh, killed in the Elite Four, yeah, basically. But anyway, it looks like we got some more water, waterable things here, so let's actually go ahead and surf here. Alright, there you go. We are able to run over here. So let's actually uh, take, get this item over here. What are you? You're an Ultra Ball. What? All right. All right. Uh, let's fight you. And I believe you're like one of the last trainers. Uh, Victory Road. Somehow it feels like my journey is coming to an end. Yeah, yeah. The Virgin Victory Road, I'm not sure that there's that much left. But of course, now we have to deal with a ride on. So, uh, oh gosh. Uh, surf it up. And it should be a good game. Uh, let's say we've got a Car Divine here. So I guess we can flash cannon you. Okay, there we go. Got destroyed. Finally, Pacific taking some stuff out, but uh, let's actually go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because I haven't really done that. Uh, let's go for one on Cool Whip, and I'm not going to probably use Quaker much, so I'm not going to waste a Hyper Potion on you because you're already good on levels. So let's go ahead and go to this person, and oh wait, no, wrong way. I meant to go over here. Alright, surf it up here, and let's actually go ahead and follow the waterfall. There might be some stuff that I'm missing, but I'll get to that in a, in the next episode of Victory Road, because there are actually going to be two parts, probably, because I'm not going to do all of this in one episode. But let's go down here and see what we have. Looks like we got Dragon Pulse. By the way, I did put Wuju in the PC. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, basically, I... I um, Basically, uh, Wuju was already pretty good on levels, so that if he gets under-leveled at the end of the Victory Road, that I would just be able to use rare candies and, like, um, get him back onto the proper level. So, let's take get another Ace Trainer here. I hope you're a boy. I probably am wrong, but, I mean, last one I thought, actually, the girl trainer was a boy, and of course you have a freaking Altaria, so let's switch out, actually. Oh, no! Alright, please be faster. Yeah, this is why 
Everyone has their ice types ready because of that guard charm. Everyone knows that Cynthia has a guard charm. It's not even really a spoiler, but everyone has their ice types ready. Speaking of ice types, thank you to all those people who told me where to get ice beam. All right, sorry about that. Another little interruption, but a lot of people told me where to get ice beam, and I might put that in Pacific for the guard charm. But I don't know how helpful it'll be because the guard charm is probably going to one shot us with an earthquake because Pacific is half steel type. So, I don't know. I mean, if I need it, then I'll definitely go get it. So, now I know where to get it. So, thank you all those people that told me. But, uh, we'll do that after we meet this old dude over here. Uh, I don't know what Pokemon these guys actually have, but... Uh, okay, it's Porygon. This is easy. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, just kill you with some Baba Plumba Bold Plumes and a Napoleon. Alright, wait, why did I stay in? I thought this was Steel-type, but it's also Water-type, so let's switch out. Wait, I have an Napoleon. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, uh, oh gosh, um, why is he able to use Brian so effectively? I have no idea, but here we go, we killed it. All right, nice, uh, Tangrowth. Tangrowth actually was one of the Pokemon that I was considering using on my team. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but basically while doing this, planning my team, I was considering using a bunch of Pokemon that were, like, not as used by po people, so I actually decided that I should use... Uh, Tangrowth, but anyway, um, we got another hill to climb here, so I actually need to do a quick hyper potion on uh, vanilla because we actually are pretty low on health, so let's do that quickly. And let's actually do that on Fuji as well. Alright, uh, it looks like we got a final trainer over here, so but yeah, uh, I was considering using Tangrowth because it's just, I don't, I never really see anybody using uh, Tangrowth that often, and it's actually a pretty cool grass type. It's not even that bad. Um, uh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to switch out, so let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, Tangrowth is like not even that. It's not even that bad. So I was actually considering using it, but in the end, I decided that grass types they're not really that helpful in like overall. So I decided to not use it uh, because I think while planning out this team, I also looked at like Pokemon, like how to evolve them. But here we are, actually at the end of the victory road, and of course our repel just ran out. So um, I'm actually going to go back and quickly get the items that I missed. I believe there is an item near that fat dude. I'll figure out how to get that. But uh, let's actually check it out. Probably is somewhere. I just have to double check. I think it's... Oh yeah, it's across the bridge. So we have to go up here. And yeah, there we go. We got it. And... Alright, it's a zinc. Wow, that was totally worth it. I have no idea what a zinc is. What do these things even do? If anyone knows, then let me know because... I honestly don't know why. what the point of getting these are. Okay, so that guy won't let us pass it. I believe that's for the post game. I might I might actually do the post game if I have time. But yeah, I guess there are a couple of items and stuff that I miss, so I might have to get that. So yeah, there's one over there. But yeah, I guess we'll be doing all of that in the next episode. But let's actually go ahead and rock climb up here. I actually want to check out if we missed some stuff here. So yeah, it looks like we did. So I guess I'll be doing all that next episode when we finish the victory road. So I will see you all in the next episode where we take on um, the rest of Victory Order or just get whatever I missed and that's going to be all it for now so thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time